Welcome, patrons, to another exciting episode of The Drunken Pawn. We're here again. Sorry it's been so long, uh, you know, with everything going on, with the pandemic and everything. It's just hasn't been, we haven't been able to get together, but now we finally, it's a little uh, safer, so we decided to get together again. So we are here, mm -hmm. and I promised you that we were going to play the Uncanny X-Men Alert Adventure Game. That's a mouthful. <laughs> that is a, it's, it's, uh, that's it a is lot. It's a perfect title for a perfect game. <laughs> perfect. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. About that. But yeah, so um, this game was uh, made by Pressman, uh, Pressman Toys. They actually started in 1922. Well, they've been doing it since 1922. That's pretty crazy. That's a long time. Um, the, in addition to the Uncanny X Men Alert Adventure game, they also made okay. So they also made X Men Under Siege before he decided to die on me, um, and uh, X Men Crisis in the Danger Room. Uh, they all came out around the same time. That was the, that's the name of it. So uh, they all came out around the same time from '92, which was this one, to like '96 or something like that. Nice. So all around the same time, they must have got the got the. Uh, Oh, the, the license yeah. and it was like, yeah. okay, we're gonna just pump them out. <laughs> 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 Gotta get these things going. One sounds like an escape room. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Like the board, it has like big things coming out of oh, it, boy. like structures that you have to build and stuff. So that's amazing. The, that's the crisis and the danger room. It's actually the most expensive one too. <laughs> this one you can find on eBay for like 25, 30 bucks. <laughs> that one's like fifty to ninety. So like, yeah, it's for whatever reason way more expensive. Mm -hmm. But we have the cheaper version. <laughs> it's been alert. Uh, so, so I just wanted to yeah say that about Pressman because it was kind of in interesting that they made you know three other games and they've been around that long I feel since like nineteen twenty two. Yeah, I get maybe one day we'll uh, try them out. But the trilogy, I like it. Yeah, just do all three. Have like a three hour long. <laughs> no, nobody will watch that. <laughs> Somebody will. Uh, a thousand but, times. <laughs> It says it's a two to four player game, uh, ages nine to adult. Um, nine we fit is in pretty there. young. Nine, I, uh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe for the simple version? Yeah, the nine? basic version. That's yeah. true, yeah. Because there is two versions of this game, the basic and advanced. We're, we'll be playing the advanced version. Because we're, we're adults. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. Because <laughs> we're adults. <laughs> we're not playing no basic version. That's right. Actually, a few of, our, a few of my friends, my roommate, my girlfriend, Teresa, who is filming right now, um... <laughs> she, to focus all we played the basic version and it literally took 10 minutes to play so yeah we're not doing that um and the advanced version is just more fun way more fun okay so well let's get into this thing let's raise our steins because it's game time yeah. all right well the rules say you can either you can either pick your cards yourself you mm -hmm. pick your, your your starting character yourself, or you can do it at random. I think it'd be more fun to do it at random. More random. So we're gonna do more it at random. random. Yeah. For advanced game, we get start with two X Men. I hope we get this man right here. <laughs> Big boy. Okay, I'm gonna do you, and then me, and then you, and then me. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you do me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got Psylocke. <gasps> Sweet. Let me get Psylocke out of the box here for you. Do I read her special ability? I mean, if you want, I All guess. Right. When leading her team in a battle zone, Psylocke can help one teammate in the battle using her psychic knife. Add two dice to a teammate's fighting skill number. Yeah, that's pretty good. She's tougher. Okay, your little character for it. Ooh, I like that. Okay, now my next character will be the Banshee. The Banshee. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna say his stuff. It's gonna be a surprise. Okay. This one looks like <laughs> I'm sure I'll use Sonya it from Mortal Kombat. Oh wow, yeah, it looks exactly like something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're next guy. Okay. Oh, you got a storm! Hey, I like storm! Yeah. Another good leader. There you go. Oh. Okay. My last guy is. <laughs> the Ice Man? <laughs> ah, crap. Okay. He's got a really good power. Yeah, he does. So, we. Because we, we play him beforehand and mm -hmm. he had him last time and got some. There was game was a little quick but it's fine it's fine <laughs> <laughs> all right so okay start her up uh, you want to go first sure you want to roll for it yeah 
Uh, let's roll for it. Uh, uh, whoever, if you get a whoever gets a loss or a win or we'll figure it out. I roll. A nothing. So okay, if you get so a win, you win. Okay. I got a win. You there we go. <laughs> I'll go for his then. That's how you do it with non numericals <laughs> Yeah. These dice are pretty cool. Though. So do we load these up? Preload? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm supposed to do it, but it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Oh, Hydra's back. <laughs> and Moses Magnum. Moses Magnum. Oh, and recruiting X Men. <gasps> okay. Wow, that's So you know all what that up. means. Got a strong boy, a weak boy, and a recruiter. Right at the beginning of the game, too. Nice. I forgot to grab. I forgot to grab Ice Man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Ta da! Okay. So, the recruit, the another X Man is going to be Shadow Cat. Oh man, she's a tough one too. She's good. Yeah. Very strange ability on that one. I like it. So we got to put our little things here for their powers. His strength is six. His strength is twelve, and her intelligent total, total power. powder is eleven. All right. So I go first. Yeah. Let's see where am I gonna pull here? Ah, oh, should I go for the shadow cat? It's actually pretty good. I got two dummies again though. My intelligence are pretty bad. That's me too. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna take them, put them both over here, try to go for it. I don't blame you. See, I don't think this this doesn't this only affects so Iceman here has a ability that says Iceman can battle it as normal or when he is leading his team he can make a freeze attack roll two dice mm -hmm. to freeze and capture the evil mutant both dice must show Marvel X-Men or a combination of both dice showing evil mutants calls hits to, to Iceman so sounds to me like well, he doesn't do anything for recruiting because it says evil mutants Right. So yeah, he's just he's just a dummy with two intelligence. <laughs> hmm. I really abused his powers when we played last. <laughs> you time. did. I guess oh. he had to be the leader. Did you oh. not read it? And I, he didn't take any hits from when he failed. Wow. Cool. I'm sorry. You completely abused his powers. So I won by cheating, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> good to know. Whoops. Why don't you battle more? Okay. Well, that's battling. It does nothing for. Um, so it's just two a piece. So I'll have Banshee be the leader. Okay. Two. And then uh, Ice Boys back him up. Boy. Got two as well. Thank you. Nice. Ah, <sighs> well. Okay. Not a to do. Real uh, exciting start to the game. That's fine. <laughs> that's how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna put both of these. Uh, phenomenal ladies here on the Hydra. Specifically because I feel like it's a good chance to get an early training and luck card. Oh uh, yeah, the training and luck cards, they could be they're usually good things, but I think there are some things that could be bad as well. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. So. Okay, well Storm's leading the charge, and she's got four. She's got four diggity dice. Okay. Ooh! Ooh she just <laughs> took a bunch of punches. Yeah. Did not do well. Two evil mutants. Dang diggity. Smack right. smack. And then Psylocke. Uh, the weather control from Storm gives Psylocke an extra two. Oh. So she has seven fighting ability. Dang. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, I didn't even read this one. That's another leading her team <laughs> in a battle zone. That's not a it's always a good team. idea to read your character's abilities that's before you go in. <laughs> Oh, this is a recruiting thing. She can use the intelligence of all her... Oh, we'll get into that later. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Holy crap. That was a heck of a... No. Well, she got three. three and three. She's out. Dang. But she still gets to use her three, so she gets to move three, but you're, she she has to go back to okay. headquarters. Did Storm get any hits? No, she didn't. She got two <laughs> two evil mutants Dang and, it. and two zero nothing blanks. Bye, Psylocke. I thought you were the powerhouse that was going to win me the day. Okay, do I do the healing thing on her now? You can do the healing okay. now, yeah, because that's the, that's the next step. There's a, uh, it goes in phases or whatever. It's not necessarily it's not phases. Okay, it's steps. They call them steps. Fair enough. I guess phases, whatever. Like a... There's six <laughs> steps or phases. <laughs> I'm pretty want to say. Mm. So wow, this is the fourth step. Recover. Okay. I would like to fourth step recover. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, all three health. <laughs> she did a good job. She did a good job healing. She really rested up. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah, got the Epsom salts and everything. <laughs> all right, I'm still trying to recruit my dummies. <laughs> all right. Come on, baby. Dramatic pose. I, I know, that. right? What is that pose? <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> Look at my wing. Yes. Oh, cool. That Dang. was great. Wonderful. Whiff and whiff? No, no, now it's like my turn. Okay. <clears throat> he gets punched in the head once. But also gets. Are you trying kicked. to freeze? Because he gets. Oh, that's right. He, it, ah, yeah, he, the right. abilities mean nothing unless it's for recruiting. So right. I'm literally just trying to recruit Shadow Cat right now. So. Dang, diggity. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to redeploy Psylocke. <laughs> yep okay storm back in it with four four dice she's got one life left what will happen will she get punched out by one hydra <laughs> a really weak hydra <laughs> yeah she will she'll get beat to death now remember so he got two evil mutants that's right that means he takes one hit which knocks him out Boom. And then he has to take the additional hit as well. So it's just an extra hit. So that's more Shoot. he has to recover. Shoot three or four. She's oh. on three. Three and three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah three. She's on yeah. three. Yeah. All right. But, <clears throat> yep. See, but Ooh. Psylocke takes the place. So I do have an interesting question for you. Go ahead. Is she now the team leader? Mm hmm. Well, that's nice. She is the team leader. Okay. Well, she doesn't have anybody. I mean, that doesn't help me, but it's good to know. <laughs> it's good to know for the future. Yeah. Because there could be another teammate. Whoa. Oh, whoa Slippery. Uh-oh, you will mean. One, two, and one. Uh -uh. Get in there. <gasps> okay. Now recover? Yeah, you can For recover. Three durability. Yep. We're getting out of here. This is step four. You may remember from our previous discussion. <laughs> our phase four. Woo! Pew! She's down to one smack in the face, which is better... Good. Now you can redeploy her. Once later. they get, yeah, later, not now, but yeah, when, on your next turn. But once they get past that. This is a lot of effort for one Hydra. Yeah. Agent. I gotta say, this is a very, I mean, I would be very disappointed. You just have bad rolls. That's true. They just have some bad luck. They were up all night. <laughs> Lots of excuses. They are like, you know what? It's a Hydra. We'll take you no problem. And then get their ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, they showed up and this is a Olympic gymnast over here. Yep. He's just. He's a problem. Throwing bows. Yeah. And, don't you know what to do with yeah. it. Alright. Come on, Shadow Cat. Be our friend. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Two hit. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, man. That's tough. Yeah, they, they're pretty weak. And Ice Man takes a hit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is going great. This is so much tougher than the start of last game. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. They're going to both get knocked down yes. before I can even get up there. Speaking of which, we deploy you. Shadow Cat. Not, not Shadow Cat. What's her face? Storm. Knife Hand. Psylocke. Psylocke. That's Storm. Yes, I'm talking about Psylocke oh, okay. here. Okay. When she's leading a team in a battle zone, Psylocke can help one teammate in the battle using his psychic knife. That'll come in later. She's got five shoot 'em up powers. <laughs> and she got her ass kicked to death. <laughs> but you already made it past. So you won, but you still have to take all those damages. Oh my God. Three damage and one punch. So you so still win him. Knocked out. Knocked yeah. out. Knocked out. <laughs> Storm just showed up to watch it all happen. <laughs> there we go. All right. So that was uh, that was a thing. Okay. So, so now we regenerate. Yep. Recover. Yep. Recover. You can do both Storm and Silence. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Her. So she's able to go out. I don't know if I would advise it. Yeah. I mean, she probably wants to go out, but she doesn't know what she's doing. You know, these heroes, they don't know what, what's the best for them, <laughs> usually. Two. There you go. Boom. All right. Boom. Okay. And then we deliver this to the graveyard. <laughs> well, you deliver him to the authorities. To the authorities. <laughs> <laughs> the great <guy. laughs> it's not the Watchmen. Sorry, it's the X Men. They, yeah, they Even don't murder the people. Typically, they don't try to. Thanks for coming back to the base. <laughs> Here's our cemetery. <laughs> All right, training. Look, here we go. Okay, this says 
Training and luck. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, long and tough workout in the danger room. Move ahead two spaces on the experience track. What? If you land on a training and luck. What you will. Uh, recruit or recruit. Do not draw a card. Okay. Well, you will. Like, that was really hard to read at that angle for me. I <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. Moved up a little bit. Dang. Got a little extra experience. That's pretty nice. That's all right. I'm all right with that. Now I'm going to see if I can not die. Yeah. While trying to recruit Shadowcat here. Come on, Banji. Oh, we got this one. Here we go. There we Three. go. Three. That's nice. That is nice. No, Iceman, back him up, back him up. One. Oh my god, he's still not there though. So close, but neither of you died. No, no, still alive. So that's nice. You want to do this one? Oh yeah, I forgot. Got to put a new person on. Belasco? Belasco! <laughs> that sounds like a sandwich. I'm or sorry, I'm not. He looks like a demon. He's got like a demon tail. Always got a demon tail. Sorry, we're not we're not real versed in the X Men. Is he lore? White Knight Creeper Crawler? I think Nightcrawler? he's White Devil. White Devil. White Devil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's yeah. I think you're right. Maybe White Devil. White Devil. Uh, Nightcrawler's father or whatever. Whoa. Maybe. Neato. I don't know. Cool. So what are we doing here? Thinking about where to go. Where to go here? Yeah, I think there's really only one logical place to go, and that would be not to hell, but to <laughs> Moses. Goddamn Magnum. I kind of want to know his story. He's got a real fun chair. If anybody knows the story of Moses Magnum, why don't you just uh, throw it in the comments there? Yeah. I'd like to know. That's a good one. Just because we're not versed in mm -hmm. X-Men lore. So, you know, there he is. I watched the show, but he wasn't on the show. Never seen so. him on the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but this guy uh, wasn't evil either. Uh, Bla Blasco. Yeah. I feel like this guy's chair is floating and maybe he's got some sort of tech powers or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> Come on. Banshee, yeah, you can do it. I know you can. Let's do it. Gotta do it. Did it and Wait. died. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> he died. But he did do it. So I got Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat's a good one. You get the Shadow Cat. All right, let's see who the Shadow Cat's gonna fight. Netflix Dracula. <laughs> oh, is it Dracula? Yeah, yes. it's Dracula. Pretty good outfit. Very purple. Very good. <laughs> Very purple. Yeah. Well, this is the '90s, man. That's true. It looks like a snooty white prince. I think that was the point. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. All right, well, I got a job to do, and that's beating Moses Magnum. I think. So you're already in lead. Well, before you start fighting, okay. you can redeploy. Yeah, right? Remember, yeah. you gotta do that first and then fight. Mm -hmm. It's because once you start fighting, then that's it. I feel like I gotta. I mean, the old. Oh, God, five. Mm -hmm. Recover? Yeah, I gotta recover the storm. I've always liked Storm. Yeah, she was a good character. Yeah. Like but I said, I watched the, the show a lot. I didn't read a lot of the comics, but I watched the show. The animated show? Religiously, from... yeah. Oh, yeah. Early mornings, or when did that come on? Uh, it was, I think, Saturday. Like after school or something? Or? Yeah, it was like a Saturday oh. cartoon thing. I loved Fox. it, too. I loved it. Yeah, because I, yeah, oh, I just re-watched it recently because like, we had a mall come in to the store I work at at GameSwap. They hold up? Yeah, they held up. The last <laughs> season, like, except for the last season, they, like, completely changed up the animation. Oh. And they, like, the the um, the um voice actors were different. Oh. So it was, like, mm. yeah. But for the most part, it was... Still, it was Really good. Just as just as good as I remembered. Banshee. Oh. So cloth. So I'm gonna do Iceman right here. Oh yeah. And not cheat like you did. Huh? That's your prerogative. <laughs> 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 it is my prerogative. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Dracula just because oh, yes. just because it's Dracula. Yeah. So putting him in, and he's gonna be my leader there. And then. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna break up my team a little bit. I'm gonna go for him with Shadow Cat. Okay. Because yeah. So Iceman, I've already said what he can do, um, which I'm gonna go ahead and use him first. Yeah. So he's leading the team, technically. Uh, so he can roll two dice to freeze and capture the evil evil mutant. Uh, so if I get an evil evil mutant on the dice, then. Uh, it counts as a hit. Yeah. So I take two dice. I'm gonna freeze Dracula. 
That's what I'm trying to do. Be a good one. Eh. No. Mm. I failed, but I didn't get hit. So. I get hit. And that's all he can do. Um, Which way are you using Shadowcat? Front ways or back ways? Uh, so Shadowcat has a neat ability where she can actually move this way on the track to get to the the bad guy's uh, marker there. Mm. Mm -hmm. It says, roll her three fighting dice. She cannot use the help of teammates, so she moves clockwise, or counterclockwise. Uh, starting with the highest number, she moves two spaces for each, so normal, she moves normal. If she takes a hit, she has to go back to the deployment area, so. It's very interesting. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. She's gonna phase. That's a that's a long one. That's a well. I mean, it's a little. It's yeah. way it's way shorter than this side. Yeah. <laughs> so ah, just got hit. <laughs> no movement. Just got hit. So. Does that mean she takes a hit then when she she's phasing? Yeah, she takes a really? hit. Really? Wow. Okay. Let's see. Takes a hit and returns to deployment area. Schnarps. Mm. Well, look at that go. Okay. Remember to read, kids, on your cards. <laughs> and make sure you're following the rules. Because nothing can ruin a game faster than you just misreading something or forgetting a rule, yeah. as we as we learned with uh, Mixtape Massacre. Oh. It didn't ruin the game. I, I, sp I spoke wrong on that. But, <laughs> but we, it would have been funner if we were following the rules. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need a new guy. Oh, it's the alien broom. Mm. That one's like a high number of experience points, too, huh? It's like 20, isn't he? Yeah. Strength 20. Man, Shadow Cat would be very useful there. Yes. You can't change deployment areas once you're in the deployment area, unfortunately. You, you can only go back to the headquarters, and then you have to wait another turn oh. to be redeployed. Wow. Okay. So. Uh, Always be capturing ABC. ABC, always be capturing, always be congoing. That's bongoing, but all right. What's the Congo? Is that an instrument? No, that's, that's a country. It's a place, yeah. <laughs> that's the Democratic Republic of Congo. <laughs> the Congo <laughs> is just the jungle? Mm hmm. Sure. All right, I feel educated. It's also a movie. <gasps> oh, that's right. <laughs> is that the one with the diamonds? Yes. Yes. Has Bruce and Campbell in it? Yeah, Bruce Campbell. <laughs> Man, when I watched that after watching Evil Dead, it blew me away. I'm like, Bruce Campbell. Okay, he anyway. dies immediately. We're doing, yeah, that sucks. Anyway, five. Nope. Three. Four from... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> We're devolving here. Listen, we got four. And then she adds her storm powers to Miss Psylocke's psychic hand knife. And she gets seven. Because that's a, it is in the thing. I, uh, I are you sure I, you're reading it right? Why don't you read I mean... it? I'm happy to have you read it, proofread it. When she's <laughs> leading the team, she can help all all of her teammates, adding two dice to their fighting skill. Okay. Number. It's very straightforward. Wait, you, you're trying to chuck my chuck my yes, over here? absolutely, with oh, the Bellagio. Okay. Go ahead. Belasco. See what Sounds you can like do. Sounds like Bellagio Tabasco. Just. <laughs> okay, she took one punch. Good, that's good, good, good for her. Smack to the head. You think I'm you're going to get there before me? I don't know. I have no concept You know what, Iceman? Come on, Iceman. You can do this. I believe in Oh, Iceman with Dracula? Yeah, I didn't try to beat that. Actually, I'm going to deploy first because I have Banshee over here. You should. Where's he going? Well, he has flight, though. He can come in whenever. That's true. Flight's a nice one. But he's better when he's leading, so. He can support. Well, that so doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So he has a... Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm mm -hmm. putting Banshee in here because he mm -hmm. has a ability... Where he can battle as normal, or when he's leading a team, which he would be here, he can roll two dice to knock the evil mut mutant unconscious and capture. Wow! Kind of like Iceman. Man! Is it the same kind of rules? Yeah. Okay. So, any so if I get hit, hits? yeah, I get okay. hit, and I gotta get the X-Men. Yeah, so, same wow. thing. Wow, so. that's a brutal duo. So you don't want to double up at her cut? You're splitting your bets, I like it. Well, he has to be leading. Oh. They both have to be leading yeah. to be able to use that. Right. Which you were not using that that way. <laughs> well, once or twice, I feel like I did. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So, right. Banshee, go! <gasps> now fail. Oh, sorry. Damn. Yeah, it's tough stuff. 
Then Iceman. Yep. He's gonna freeze. Did I already do that? I didn't do nope. that. Okay. We just did Freeze! Break. Nope. Takes mm. a hit. This is hard. This it's hard to use their little Throw abilities. Okay, Shadow Cat's still moving too. Oh god, that's Don't take it, please, God, don't take it. She could get all the way there. <gasps> She's moving right that's along. Very close. <coughs> wow. Okay. Tough stuff. Banana rough. Alright. <laughs> Banana rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! You got it. Fighting skill four of Storm. <laughs> Two evil mutants. <laughs> That's a harsh punch. Got a harsh punch. But three ground and pounds or whatever. You're not going to get there before me. No way. I don't know. No way. We don't know these things in the future. <clears throat> That's true. I mean, all that takes one punch for me to go back. So. Yeah. And then seven for Psylocke, which is a lot considering she only has three health. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, should I take one hit? Oh my Two, four, lord! Six, seven. You got it. Oh <gasps> my god, you snuck it out right from underneath me. The Belasco. Wow. Belasco. That is. Maybe it's a watch company. Bull. <laughs> what are you trying to associate? <laughs> Velasco, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, oh, that's right. Wait, wait. He's got to go in the pile first, and then you recover. Yeah, recover. It's easier just to do it in that order, in order so you yeah. know, like you remember to do the things. Yeah. All right, you, three. Uh, recovery. Yep. Storm. Oh. Wow, nothing. The she blanks. just sat around and did nothing. She <laughs> didn't even lift any weights. She just... I'm really injured, and those deep cuts. That's true. That's pretty rough. I don't blame you. Can't believe you snuck that out from underneath me like that. One, two, three, four, five. X-Man oh. recruit. Is that a recruit? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. See what you get. So you get Havoc. Havoc. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I like his little hat. He's <laughs> got a try hat. Yeah, he does. He's got a tricorn. Add three dice when he's leading. Add three dice to one of your teammates while he's leading. Wow. Cool. That's a pretty good power. End. Okay, let's see what we got next coming up. Baboon. Baboon? Badoo, badoon. 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 Whoa. Like a weird swamp creature looking guy. He's these, not very strong. Though. Do these belong to these? Is that one of those guys? Because there's like they're both the green kind of muscular. I don't know. I really oh, don't boy. know. Again, put in the comments if you Badoon. if you know about these guys. Obviously, more than we do, we don't know who these guys are at all. Are at all? Uh, we know who Dracula is. <laughs> kind hey, of. he's good. Not, huh? the, not the Marvel Dracula. Well, though, so. You know, but anyway, some relation. Just so, but cat. Banshee's gonna go first. Was she played can... by Juno? No, Jennifer Page, Alice Page, Lindy Page. Oh, Ellen Page. <laughs> Ellen Page. <laughs> I, know, I was, like I like that actress she a lot. Was, uh, she was Shadowcat. Yeah. Was she Shadowcat? Shadow she Cat. was. Well, Kitty Pride. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kitty Same Pride. person. All right. Uh, half of that I got. Fail on Banshee's part, and he took a hit, so he's out again. <laughs> <laughs> Banshee has been, oh. been useless. Man. Okay. Um. But Shadowcat's still there, so she can go three, and she only has to get Stay two days without getting punched. <gasps> Phased him to justice. That's right. <laughs> to justice, not to the grave. We've not to the end. Yeah. Well, this one doesn't go to prison. That one goes to the grave. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It's an alien demon. That was amazing. Okay, so I got... Oh, I'm going to recover. Is this your first? Oh, wait. Iceman still needs to go. I forgot. So, he's going to try to shoot Dracula in the face with some ice beams. <laughs> <laughs> Which he'll fail again like he normally does. No, he succeeded. So, I got two. This yeah, is a big Dracula. round. This is a big round, round for me. Yeah, for Team Orange. Team Orange? No, that's gold. Okay. In the rules, it's gold. <laughs> <laughs> it says gold, silver... That's supposed to be red and blue, so it looks pink, but it's very it says purple. Oh, it does say purple. Pure bad. 
PR pull. So I got seven and five. That's 12 points. Yeah. Oh, man. Wait. What? Recover. Oh, yeah, recover. Well, I'll redo my 12 points. So Banshee needs to recover. She needs to recover. I like it. I like it. Man, that's how you use Shadow Cat. Actually, I can recover everybody because they're all done. Yeah. Oh. So here's him, Banshee. Fail. Damn, wow. Banshee. He has been useless this whole game. Banshee. I'm sorry if there's any Banshee fans out there, but it Lord. Sucks today. It sucks today. She had four. Hmm. Nice. Just one. That's all she needs. Noise. Cool. Now, 12. One, two, three. Look at that. Caught right up. Right up. I kind of like that about this game because it came yeah. just kind of all. Like, yeah, just in one turn, I defeated two two uh, baddies and now I'm caught up. Okay. So who do we got now? Oh, Recruit, Ooh. which is going to be Cable. Cable? He's oh, back. This is fun. Okay. He's a smart fella. It's a problem. He's from the future. From the future. Ugh. Okay. And... The blob. Oh my gosh, classic. the blob. Nah, he's classic. Should we flip him. Nice. The blob. Yeah, he's me. You know, he's not on Tinder or anything. It's just... What was that? Huh? He's not on Tinder. <laughs> yeah, man, that's not his profile picture. <laughs> got that downward angle or upward angle or whatever he is. Anyway, it's not important. He's the blob. Yeah. I don't think he has a good angle. Well, yeah. now we know why he's not on Tinder. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's my turn. Oh god. Okay, three experience. Yeah, you can recruit Cable if you want. I feel like don't. You wait. Hold on. You don't you have a recruiting thing? I do. When leading her team in a battle zone, Psylocke can use intelligence of all of her teammates when recruiting. The number what? of recruiting dice she rolls is equal to Psylocke's intelligence plus, plus all of her teammates. Underlined plus. <laughs> well. Uh, <laughs> Yep. We're all coming in. We're backing up Buttercup. This is what we're doing. Uh, nope. <laughs> You're trying to recruit the blob? <laughs> yeah, I was trying real hard to recruit the blob. We're not going to do that. <laughs> he's not, I don't think he's going to come over to your side. He doesn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to. Want to. Anyway, here we go. Psylocke. Two, four. Oh, wow. He's intelligent. I didn't see that coming. Seven. I don't even know who Havoc is. He is the brother of Cyclops. Really? Yeah. Wow. They should have talked about that more in the blockbuster films. <laughs> they did, actually. He's in <gasps> first class. Really? Yeah, Havoc's in first class. Was he I'm not the sure chess he's... thing? I don't know if they did the brother thing on that one, though. I don't think they were brothers in that one. He was the guy who had the... He did have the exploding chest. I could be wrong. <laughs> no? <laughs> in the comments, if I'm completely wrong on this, I... I... He, he's either the brother or son of Cyclops. Wow. That's a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's one of those. I think. All right. There's a good chemistry there. Havoc has a little smarty pants. Yeah. Well, I mean, being related somehow to Cyclops. Cyclops Makes him intelligent. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because, I mean, he's the leader of the X-Men. Oh, huh. fair enough. <laughs> Not Dr. X? He's the, like, mentor of the X-Men. He's like the, he owns the school, but, Got it. but when they're out in the field, uh, Cy Cy Cyclops is the leader. So, Professor X is <laughs> Dumbledore. He's like a general. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Cy Cyclops is like the captain. Okay. If you want to put a military sure. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, girl. Talk about it. Dang. All right. All right. And then three experience for... Freezing the blob up. Nice. Okay. I've got In no, turn. No fun cards. Flip though. card. Silver Ooh. Samurai. Ooh. The Silver Samurai. Which is a big... This I do know. Again, because of the cartoon. He's a big uh, Wolverine enemy. Whoa, like, okay. Yeah, all of his armor and stuff is made of vibram... Vib uh, That's a and, and it. Animanium or whatever. Adam, adamantium. adamantium. Adamantium, like his claws are, and his skeleton. 
That's a tough one. I mean, it's that's all a really small weapons. target. Yeah. Dang, dude. Dang. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty good. Well, it's we're not involved in any of that business. I don't see any reason to mess with the Silver Samurai at this point. Can't even if I wanted to. <laughs> Psylocke, we got business. We're emailing Gable. It's Cable. Cable. <laughs> Gable, Cable. It is Cable. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Two, she could die, four, but seven. she could recruit and die. I think she can recruit and die with her dying breath. <laughs> she can call to the future man. No, she just recruited. Oh, yes, she recruited him so hard. <laughs> there you go. Cable's yours. Thank you. I appreciate this very much. Well, unfortunately, I can't just redeploy him immediately, but that's a hefty figure, too. He's the least slenderest of all the figures. Well, if you remember the comics at all with Cable in them, uh, I believe the the uh, artist was Rob Rob Liefeld. Yeah. Which I don't know if you're familiar with him. No. He's the one that built. Like everybody makes fun of him because he like all of his characters have like these giant massive muscles and like <laughs> yeah. tons of pockets on that their. Became super popular. Yeah, though. and tiny feet. <laughs> <laughs> so, for whatever reason, uh, but yeah, but they were super popular in the '90s. I mean, yeah. those, those comics were super popular. Great little character prop right there. And I like the character too. I mean, honestly, he's yeah. an interesting character. He's got. I like it. Even in the future, he's got like a fur coat thing going on, kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, he's also featured in Deadpool too. Yes, he is. By Josh Broyland. Josh Broyland. Broyland. Yeah. Broyland. Broyland. Where are the prawns? We got prawns. Do they serve prawns? <laughs> In Louisiana? Is that a thing they do? I'm sure it is, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> That's a weird segue. <laughs> Durability. Never mind. All right. We got a healing. Nice. All right. Can't take too many punches. Next person. Oh, it is the Hellfire Club. The it's... Hellfire Club? The whole club? <laughs> Just one guy, but... Oh. It looks like a, like a guy from the colonial era. Is that George That's Washington? the Hellfire Club, huh? Look, he's got he's got buckle boots. He's got buckle boots. <laughs> so he's the world's most evilest Quaker. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> so he is. I guess so. He shall repent, fools. <laughs> yeah. Mutant scum. <laughs> you know what? They were on the, they were on the X Men show. And I'm pretty sure that's what he sounded like. The inner circle is not so easily defeated. <laughs> or one of them, because the Hellfire Club's like a bunch of different guys. I've, yeah, I've, that sounds about right. So that's the Quaker Motorcycle Club. <laughs> yeah, Quaker Motorcycle <laughs> but Club. But they have uh, horse and buggies. Yes, but they do make room sounds. But it's chariots. Chariots. Because the horse and... That yeah. would be the equivalent of yeah. a motorcycle. Which is like a horse and buggy without a roof, which is totally baller. <laughs> <laughs> be damned, weather. And you have to We're stand. rolling. You have to stand in some of them. I mean, you could bring a stool. <laughs> Just attach it to the chair. Anyways, yeah. get off topic. Yeah, 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 we're yeah. digressing. We got people to fight. Okay. Um, <laughs> really? Let's see. Sapphire Club. Whoop his, whoop his bahooty. 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 There is an H. His pantaloons. Pantaloons. <laughs> Kick his. Knock the buckles right off. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Voice. I can grab that. Cool. And that is. All for me. Cool. All done. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm reading the board here. I'm seeing this Lucky Thundercats. Uh, that's not what it's called. Training and luck <laughs> sticker. Oh, Lucky that's Thundercats. Really hard, that's some hard word art. Okay. There's no T in it. Is there? Oh, there is a T. Uh, training. Training. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> that, I mean, training cats. <laughs> truck training and luck. Holy piss <laughs> Oh, bananas. Okay. <laughs> We're going to training in Lucktown. What do you mean, hell? Well, I'm, I'm the silver here. It's a mm -hmm. one, two, three. So I'm going to go straight for Hellfire Club. Oh, I see. I'm going see. all okay. in. Okay, we'll do We're it. going to figure out what's the best. Now we're done. Now we move three. One, two, three. Training in Luck, not Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh? Not <laughs> You're just adding things. <laughs> <laughs> Rescue catch from a tree. I'm pretty sure I read that right. Use this card when turning in evil mutants to the authorities and gain one bonus experience dice. I think it says four. 
four bonus experience dice. That That's a lot that more than one. Angle. It's a hard angle. So when we do bonus experience, well, we'll I'll walk you through that. Please do. You, yeah, because it's actually that. interesting. So. Okay, cool. And I'm glad that came up because we can show it on the show here. All right. Neck and neck. We are neck and neck. I know we really are. This is a close game. Oh, getting excited. Yeah. All right. Who we got next? Oh, it's Magneto. Magneto. It's the X Men's greatest foe. 18 for seven. That's a pretty tough one. But. Magneto is not really technically a bad guy. I, I mean, think, he is, yeah. but he is and he isn't. I feel so. like he's a good, he's he's a great bad, he's a great antagonist because he never believes he's the bad guy. Right. Where's yeah. the blob? He's just a bad guy. Yeah. He just doesn't care. Yeah. So what? I don't know what the Silver Samurai deal is, but Magneto, yeah, yeah, his own protagonist, and I love that. That's great. Yeah, he's a great character. Anyways, okay, let's see, you guys. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Iceman is going for his freeze. He's going to try to freeze him. And he got him. Oh my, oh my goodness. I think. Oh my goodness. I might have a dream team over here. I think that might be the end of the game. That might be the end of the game, you think? I think so. Or at least Did I win? Last point. I'm a little, you know, three seven, eight, nine. counting is not my greatest skill right now. But. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did. Yeah. I won. <laughs> yeah. I pulled it out there That's because. It. Just because the good. Good rolls. Those sweet superpowers when you can yeah. get those two uh, positive rolls. Yeah. Well, there it is. That is the Uncanny X Men Alert Adventure right. Game. Um, it's yeah, good game. Um, bonus experience dice. All the bonus experience dice. We didn't get to get to that. Uh, I would like to like to talk about it for a second. So, if he were to use this, say on the Hellfire Club guy here. Oh, I see. So when he's adding up bonus experience, he would roll dice, and w however many of the the points he got for Marvel or the X Men, he would add that to the bonus I to, see. to the experience. So he'd roll the four dice, and if you got, you know, man, you would have okay. got that much more experience. That was a neck and neck game. Yep. Wow. Man. Okay. Great. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. All right. Well. Just finished up X-Men Alert. Ah, time to review this bad boy. Yep. So, uh, what'd you think? I gotta, uh, I, I do, I do like the game quite a bit. I like the advanced version of the game. I think it gives, uh, for people our age who kind of grew up watching the show, the cartoon show. Uh, or it's, reading the comics. Even. Or reading the comics. Yes. Very, very true. Uh, it gives you kind of a nice little refresher on on your favorite the characters and a bunch of other characters you never knew i think it's simple enough that you can sit down buy the game and play it tonight yeah i think absolutely. you i think you and your friends could get it and play it tonight and understand and enjoy it yeah mm -hmm. i mean we just played it twice in a row and i still had fun i yeah i agree yeah like it's got enough stuff going on in it that it makes it fun so like there's yeah. not like any lulls where you're like oh god i think i do this again i gotta do this again yeah so it's like it's fun in that aspect um and also if you if you have younger children that are you know they you could play the basic version and if yeah. they just want to look at the cool little figures and like look at the, the artwork and stuff then yeah you could do that too and still be able to play the game yeah um so it's got a lot of cool aspects to it that you could easily just you know play with whoever you want yeah from child to your friends who are adults speaking of the figures uh i mean the the art is very much derived from the comic book art and it's it, it is pretty good yeah the uh the figures are some of the they're very interesting i really enjoy the little figures yeah they will the the the, the box big. the box <laughs> calls them um what does it say Features eighteen collectible X Men oh, figures. Oh, these collectible. <laughs> yeah, because actually, in like I was I was stating before, uh, Pressman made um, other X Men games oh. and X, X Men um, Under Siege. Uh, they have figures as well. Cool. Uh, a lot of the same characters, but there are different characters in that one. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, I know one of them was like Maverick was one of the Bishop was in, oh, which go. Bishop's another one of my favorite That's X Men cool. characters. Yeah. Um, he's in that Under Siege game, so. I thought it was a good game. Yeah. Worthy, a worthy purchase. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, like I said, like, 
easy to play. Some of the some of the the powers get a little muddled mm. a little bit. Mm. It's kind of hard to figure out. Well, when can I use this? But yeah, I mean, just make your own decisions on it. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything as long as you stick to that rule. Yeah. And whatever. if you get a chance to get one of these, uh, roll two dice and just win the enemy. <laughs> yeah, get your choice those are really good. Those, those are great. Those, yeah, have been clutch. Yeah, they're not strong, but nope. I mean, that ability is pretty clutch. Yeah. Um. So, out of five pawns, what would you give the uncanny X Men Alert Adventure can we do game? Decimals of pawns, or are we just whole? It's you can you have? Oh, can, oh, remember last time? Have. Last time you said one drunken pawn. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely. I would give this three upright pawns and one drunken pawn. So three and a half. I would give it three and a half. And the only reason I want to go that low, because I do believe this is a good game, is I think uh, as good as those powers are, those roll two dice and win, uh, it seems like even though I cheated when I had them, I won when I had those guys and you won when you had those guys. That's a good point. So, yeah. I mean, that's not, you know, that's that's not a trend no. scientifically. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, we did do this randomly. It's not like yeah. I picked those guys or anything. No, but it's a it's a really enjoyable game. Three and a half, easy peasy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there was one time where you you used your guys to completely circumvent my guy who could have done that. That's true. So it's I very mean, true. Yeah. So three yeah. and a half pawns. So that's three, three pawns and a drunken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I would give it probably a three. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, pretty close to yours better than average um I only only the only reason is because like you said there's a little it's a little the the powers get a little hard to understand sometimes mm, mm-hmm. especially we only got through a few of them and, and some of them some of them are wordy some are very wordy yeah so if you don't like having to read a lot <laughs> um it could be a problem um but otherwise, I don't really know what else I could say that would be bad. It's a good throwback. Oh, absolutely yeah. a good throwback. It's from 1992, so right when the the TV show was really big. Yeah. Um, so, it's a great... So, overall, great game. Mm-hmm. Um, not the best game I've ever played. Well. But it's, like I said, three and a half, three for me. Uh, definitely check it out. Um to uh check out pressman as well they, they still make games to this day wow. since 1922 yeah. like i said at the beginning so check them out there's mm-hmm. they have a website and everything i'll put that in the link below uh make sure to comment subscribe like uh hit the little bell thingy that does something it lets <laughs> you know when you come up with other stuff that's right yeah and it again helps. i do apologize it's been so long but obviously with everything going on you know we didn't have we didn't have a chance to be able to do another one also i would like to give you a little sneak peek at what we're we'll be doing next time on the drunken pawn it just came out three years in the making (laughs) that's right from kickstarter to kickstarter we will be doing (sighs) the evil dead 2 board game by Jasco Games. I've been waiting for this for a very long time, so it's gonna be exciting to get into that, and we'll I'll get in, get into the whole crazy backstory on all the crazy stuff that happened with Evil Dead Two too. So, uh, but I believe that's it for this one. Um, make sure you slash that subscribe button like Wolverine. Ding, ding, ding. And uh, you have a good one, guys. Hmm. Dribble.